<laughs> well, we got to take that one. Oh, now, why don't you introduce I'm yourself? I'm your old granny, so it's like, okay. Yeah, Starting like with weird. V, introduce Are you yourself. Really? You yes. Really? Oh, okay. Ah. Okay, what we, oh, you just introduce asked her yourself. a question. Okay. Yeah, what I want you. Hello. Introduce myself. Do it, do it. I'm Victoria Redstall. And what do you do? Oh, I'm a, I'm a journalist. I'm an investigative journalist. I'm a criminologist. I'm a spokesmodel, a TV host, and a producer of true crime shows. And Sharon, my lovely. And also she has a book coming out. Where's that book? Well, that came out. I've got another one coming out. Well... Can, this is the one that they want to buy now. Oh, go book. and buy this. Go now. to my website. Give me the book because I, I put it on the camera. I'm okay. going to sell signed copies. Just starting recently, I'm going to start selling signed copies from my website. I oh, just put a little link there. Fans love that. Okay, fans I'm sorry. Fans love that. That autograph. I go to autograph shows, and they pay you twenty dollars just for the autograph, yeah. not the photograph, just for the autograph. Anyway, yeah, I mean, I'm I'm Sharon Farrell. I'm an actress. I've been around for like a hundred years, actually fifty years. Um, uh, and I'm, I'm, I'm 72 years old and I, 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 I was very successful as an actress. I did wagon trains and gun smokes and plays and movies and I starred with Steve McQueen and Peter O'Toole and, and Ryan O'Neill and I can, I can go on. I did, I've done a whole bunch of films and, um, uh, I series. I did the last year of Hawaii Five-0. I played a cop on Hawaii Five-0. Uh, Plays. I've done plays. I understudied Joey Heatherton and Jane Vaughn in New York in her first play. Um, I did summer stock. I, I, I'm We've an actor. I've been around. And my name is Sharon Farrell. And I am trying now to get back into the business. And I, I, I built a house in Fiji. I'm back here. And I'm trying to work. And, uh, you will. You, so it's fun. You're going on an audition oh, today. I'm, I'm going on an audition today of this trashy lady. So, <laughs> and I know, and I'm, you know, I'm, I'm like an obnoxious, I'm an obnoxious grandma. I'm 72 years old, so I can, I can get away with this, you know. <laughs> My granddaughter here can't. That's so sweet. No, but you've got an audition, so that's how you're dressing. Yes. Because I've not met you before. So normally you wouldn't dress like that. No, oh, no, no. She no, wouldn't no. normally dress like a tart. No. <laughs> but today she has an audition in, in an hour or two where you're going up for a, a role yeah. of her. Yeah. Well, let me ask you, V, why did you get into the business of crime reporting? Well, I fell into it, really. I mean, I was fell doing it? acting. I was doing acting, and then I found the business a little bit sleazy, and I don't agree with that. If you're not sleeping with someone or related to someone, it's, it makes it a lot harder, and very few people are going to ever get a chance with me in the first place. And I'm also not related to anyone. So I branched off, and I put myself in a broadcast journalism college. So I studied at Santa Monica College, broadcast journalism, and that's when I got this passion for news uh, anchoring and reporting and telling a story and getting involved in the story and I really wanted a job on the local news as a reporter or as an anchor and they do not want the English accent on the local news. Really? Absolutely not. It's, honestly, it's the unsaid thing. They don't well, you, want it. You know what? You can get rid of that. Can I it. cannot not be me. I, I can talk well, American. No, you can, you can be, you, what, no, I saw you, I saw you, I saw you do that southern accent. I can I, do southern accent, but who wants a southern accent when you're in California talking about the traffic? I'm fixing to leave the house today and it's raining. Nobody's going to want that. And I'm not good at my accent. You don't think might want that. Basically, you know, <laughs> I'm not good, I'm not good at being anyone other than myself. So I'm British, I'm English, and I'm proud. And that's who I am. And if I lose 99% of the jobs because I'm British, so be it. If I lose jobs because I won't sleep or flirt with somebody to get somewhere, so be it. If I lose jobs because I'm five foot nine, you know, so Are be you it. that tall? Yeah. And I've got the shoes on, the correct shoes, not the flip-flops anymore. So <laughs> may, may you please look at my shoes? Because I had the flip-flops oh, on those are Gord, now so those shoes. are gorgeous shoes. So I've got the shoes. I, I, I'm now, look shoes. at the legs. I'm a ten and a half. Oh I mean, my god, it, they don't look like that. Oh, well they are both. You've got really me. pretty feet. For, you know, you got. She, it, it, this is a beautiful. Is this woman. normal? Two ladies on a couch playing yeah. with each other. So this looks a bit naughty, especially the way she's dressed. <laughs> but anyway, so back to me. It goes on YouTube. Back to you. Back no, to you. But back. No, 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 no. Let's. Back I to you. fell into it because in 2006, I had a production company. I've done a lot of commercials for and infomercials. Said we're doing a show on serial killers, and you know, we'd consider you to be the host. 
And they didn't realise that I've always been interested in serial killers. Since I was a little girl, when we had family friends murdered when I was 11. Family friends yes, murdered? Yes, the, the closest family that we had to us in England and in Spain. We'd travel with them. And the father I adored like a second father. The son and the daughter were older than me. They were like my big brother and sister because they don't have brothers and sisters. And I love this family. They, uh, the son was murdered. Another family was murdered by a mass murderer. It was such an impact to me and my life when I was 11 that I then started to read newspaper articles, watch shows on it. Never was I interested in dolls or the circus or the pantomime. I only liked real stuff since a very young age. Hence, at my age now, I can't stand Halloween. And I don't like this day today because I think it's just fake and phony and people dressing up. Don't like it. I don't like anything that's commercial. not real. It's very but commercial. It's just, it's really just not real. It's and not I good for kids real. either with all that candy. It really isn't good for, it isn't good. Oh, it's so fun. To, it's, it can be fun. It is an actual holiday. There's nothing fun about for, it. I mean, it's a religious holiday for the dead. I, I, I think there's religious nothing fun about Halloween. For the dead, yeah, if you go to... Religious holiday. Well, yeah, if you're in New Orleans. And you know, let's it's sad. So anyway, I said to this production company, I said, I don't want to host the show on serial killers. In fact, I wanted to be behind the camera for once. I said, I want to be the interviewer of the serial killer. And they said, well, you go out and find us a serial killer. And that's what I used my sheriff's department resources because I trained to be a deputy sheriff. My heart's in law enforcement. I always wanted to do that. Which do you like cops? Girl. I love law enforcement. I, you see, there's a sexual tone when somebody says, do I like cops? I, yes, well, I love yeah, law yeah, enforcement. Yeah, I was. I, yeah, definitely. You, you Caught, you caught me on that because I thought, I, I know this cop bar. I would never go to a bar. I'd they never hang out. Bar. Okay. I'm not into that. I, I, I like law enforcement. I love the males and females of law enforcement. Oh. I, love the, the, I love the way that they protect us. I love the way everything yeah. about law enforcement. I think they're they not given the credit they are, they are deserved. I think firemen get way too much credit. And I think mm. that God created cops so firemen could have heroes too. I really mean that. I really think that people are so down on cops and it breaks my heart the way people look at law enforcement. And they're the ones who don't just go into a burning building. I'm talking law enforcement. They will stop a bullet. They will, they will do everything. A fireman, yes, they're wonderful people. They'll go into a burning building. But cops do that and so much more. And I respect everybody, but I will respect law enforcement. So no, it's not I like cops. I love my brothers and sisters in law enforcement, specifically the LA County Sheriff's Department. Mm. Hence my sheriff watch. Speaking my of that, if necklace. I may, I just want You've got a handcuff necklace? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's, oh, that's really nice. That would, yeah, that's, that's I wanted cool. to ask you, because since you like law and order and cops and everything, I have, a, it, I have a, a challenge for you as an investigative reporter and all that. I have a friend, John, Sonny Francesi. He's 96 now. He's in a federal prison. And in 1967, he was given 50 years for a bank robbery where he told, it was a setup. a lot of people think, well, now you look it up and you'll find out, but he told them, he's, he says, if you can find me that I did this, proof that I did this crime, I will tell you everything I know about the mob. Okay. Now this Is guy- Is there a mob anymore? He started, he's 96 years old. I mean, 96, old. but isn't the mob all wiped out now? No, no. I mean, what are they doing? Well, he's in prison. I mean, you know, there's no prohibition. I guess they're all in drugs. Wait, is no. he probably convicted? They're all straight so now. now. Aren't they all whitewashed and straight? No. And I don't usually go anywhere near stuff? people like mobs. I just think oh, there are don't. mobs and gangs. But is he wrongly convicted? Yes, I believe. A lot of people believe he was set up. That's what I actually do now, even more than the serial killer stuff. Well, I go you, after wrongly just convicted. Just look up his case, and I, if you wanted, I could even give you his address yeah, in but, the prison. <sighs> Yeah, I know. I, yeah, you see, the thing is, I can't do absolutely everything. I do so much. I'll I, look into it, but mob stuff, I'm not really into. I, I am into wrongly one convicted. One of the originals. Wrongly convicted. Let me say something here. Sorry to, to jump if in. He is 92 and he's wrong. He's 96. You know, he's got they two ought to let him out. 96. Like, let him. Let well, him he was just, re, he was just re, sent back. He was just sent back because his son wore a wire on him and when he was out on parole. See, I stay away from the mob, but, but what I really, really want to go after, and I really mean this with my heart, I think there are so many people in prison today who've been wrongly convicted of rape. I, I'm pretty yeah. sick and tired of women that say they were raped and they weren't. And I'm really sick and tired of these women because, I mean, they behave like a whore, as you know, and then they'll, next day the guy doesn't call them, and quite rightly, why should the guy call them? They behaved like a whore, and then they say they, they were raped. Say they're right. Or they, they really jump are. on top of a man. And this is true. They'll jump on top of a man's willy, and we are made differently. These women, and not girls and not ladies, 
nonsense like me, but women will jump up on top, on top of a man's willy, naked, and then, then say no, oh no, no, and the man puts it in, of course he does, he's made differently, and then of course she calls rape. So I'm afraid to say that I think a good percentage of people who are in prison today for rape never raped anyone, and I am passionate about getting them out. Getting them out. Sorry to, to, to jump on you. No, 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 that's about okay. It. You know, I was raped in Fiji, and, and they caught one of the guys. And he, had, he was wanted for other crimes. He got 15 years. And, but, you know, when he was, I was, I was, he was dragging me around by my hair. I don't know if you can see under the makeup, there's like a, like a, a white yeah. scar there. He stabbed me with a nail. So he really did rape he you. He raped me. He okay. raped me. I was bleeding. I got a, I got a scar. But you my didn't do teasing him or, or jumping on top of him or. No, no. Just checking. No. There was more than one. She and, said, and, well, that rape. was uh, actually oh. that was another one. Oh, another because one. Because how do you get raped twice? Well, I got. I was in my bed, and all of a sudden there was a guy on top of me. Oh, they. I had a okay. bat. I had. I had a bat behind my bed. He was so strong. I couldn't, afterwards, I couldn't move my head for like almost a year. I, I couldn't move my head. I, I went into the, I, he, he stayed in the house. He said he was paid to kill me. And he said he was going to wait there and he was going to kill my husband instead and he was going to give me a Fijian baby. And he kept trying to do it. He, got, he had a Coke bottle and he was jamming that up inside of me. Oh, no. He was, you know, from every hole I had, he was trying to get into and uh, he, he, but he was, he got into my purse and he started putting on makeup. He put on lips and he took a, he took a towel. He took a towel and, and he, he put it across himself like this and walked around and looked at himself in the mirror. And then he grabbed, you know, and I, I was like, I was like on the floor. He had, he had knocked me down on the floor. I was try, I, I was thinking, should I crawl back and get into that bedroom and try to find the bat? He was so strong. And I couldn't because my neck, I, 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 I just hurt so bad I couldn't even move. So he had my, I had a little dog and he had a dog and he had a, he had a four inch nail. And he said, I'm, I'm going to kill this dog, I, his life or money, his life or money. I had $300 that was under a lamp. I said, and I said, under that lamp, there's $300. And he ran and got that. And he said, we're gonna, I'm gonna stay here, I'm gonna wait for your husband. The guy wasn't my husband, but we, we, went, we went over in Fiji like we were married. Uh, uh, I'm gonna get, I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna get that money and we're gonna go and we're gonna get some beer. So he dra and I'm, I'm like bloody all over the place. So I'm like, and I'm nude because I sleep with no clothes on because I can't stand, I, I can't stand clothes on when I'm sleeping. Yeah. So, I. Is it wrong? Don't worry, keep going. Okay. So, going, um. Sorry can, about can this. I'll turn, it off. I'll, turn it off. I'll turn it off. I'll turn it off. I don't know how. Is it important? No, I, I, I'm sorry. I forgot to turn the phone off. I'm sorry. Okay. 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 So, anyway, so he, he, drag, he drags me down. I, and I, I get on this dress, and blood is like, I mean, you know, anytime you're, you're, you're cut or stabbed, I mean, you, especially your head, it bleeds. So, I mean, I was just. I, 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 it, was, it was scary because I was just so did, much blood. Did you know this guy? No, I never met him. Well, actually, I did because he came to mow the grass with his uncle, and he knew the name of my pig, and he knew he knew he knew uh, he, I was renting a place in 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 Nandy Town. Um, your pig is that your husband? No, no, no. That was like a big pig. <laughs> I, I was just checking. I'm like, no, no. Pig, I, I had this great pig. I just had this uh, pet pig, and um, um, but that's not the husband. No, this is an animal. Yeah, market. this is an animal. So back to the rape. So. He takes me down, he take, I, I, have, pig, my man, key, I have my keys, okay. I have my keys, okay. and I figure if I get, if I can get him in the car, I'll just run into some, I'll, I'll, I'll kill us both, because I, 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 I was just, I, I, I was trying to figure out what I could do, you know. He takes me down, we walk down to the, it was a compound, we walk, we walk down, and a taxi cab is on the other side of the fence, and it ha the fence has barbed wire across the top. He told the taxi cab driver that he, w I was his wife, and he was locked out, and the taxi cab driver watched him crawl over the fence. He must have heard me screaming. He shoves me in the
the taxi cab, and and he and he and he tells he and he and he says, well, where's the bar? I said, oh, you go down here because I knew this. You know, you're not supposed to drink in in you know there there are these you know speakeasies. bars speakeasies. So we went to this like speakeasy, and in in, in in and it's just like a little it's like a little Seven Eleven type thing, and they got. They've got like walls across, you know, like uh, bars across the thing so nobody can come in at night and everything else. And they just, they hand you the beer out, out the window or, or grass or whatever you need, you know. So uh, we go there and I'm next to the, the taxi driver is here. I'm here and my rapist is here. And I got my keys in my hand. I'm, sh I'm. I'm, put, I'm, I'm jabbing the taxi cab driver, right? And you're covered in blood. I'm jabbing blood. him. But you're covered in blood. Well, yeah, uh, yeah. Well, I don't know. I think I probably wiped my. I, I don't. I, I, I must not have been at that time because because I, I don't remember. I really don't remember. But the taxi cab driver, he knew something was going on. There was blood all over my dress, and, and I think I, you know, if I wiped my face away, there, it'd, be, it'd look like. You know, Makeup. something, I know. I know. you know, I don't know. but And I kept jabbing this guy. And, and he, we, we drive up to the place, and, and he opens the door to drag me out, and I kick him. And I start screaming, he raped me, call the police, call the police. I just scream, call the police, he raped me. And this guy, he takes off, he just runs. The taxi cab driver, the taxi cab driver, he gets out and runs, and the guy that has the shop locks up all the things. I'm sitting there, and this great big Fijian guy with big old chest, and he's got his, you know, the, the Zulu one, and he's like walking towards me, and he gets the taxi cab driver, grabs, and he's the chief of a village, and he's coming up to buy some beer. He grabs the guy, and he drags the taxi driver, he drags the guy back, he puts him in the cab, he gets in the car, and he says, take her to the hospital. I was in the hospital for three days. And the guy that I, my manager, lover, you know, at one time we ended up being friends after some, you know, 30 years. And your partner. Yeah, my okay. partner. We can... Okay, he didn't, he didn't even come back to the hospital. See, I found out later that he had paid them, he had paid that so guy money So he paid the guy that. to rape yeah, and, kill, and kill me. Well, but no, I, I, just to kill me. And the, you know, the guy just didn't have enough guts to, but he, he did a lot of damage. But wait, wait, you know? why can he not be extradited to the States? Why can't he be well, I, I even... prosecuted? I, I don't who, get it. The, the rapist, the pers both. Well, well, I'm not even you're... worried about the rapist. The okay. rapist is just a poor. Okay, he was your sick. partner. Your partner. He why? Was sick. Why? He's because American, it costs right? too much money. It but, cost me too much money, and I'll lose all my property. I'll lose everything I have. And he put everything when we, when I was together with him, and he was my manager agent, and we were making films together, and, and when we were doing all of these things. Uh, you know, I always told everybody I was married to him, but I wasn't. I was never, you know, in, in California. I thought I was kind of married because I'd been with him for so long. I thought it was common law. Common law. Common law, there's no such thing in California. In Cal oh, in New York. When you is, talk yeah. to a cop or something, they say, oh, it's common law. It's okay. Does he live in America now or Fiji? He, go, he runs because he not only took my money, he took other people's did, money. Did, did you call the cops in Fiji on this person? Uh, no, because I didn't know that he, you know, he, my, my partner. Yeah. yeah. I didn't know he was doing that. I, I didn't know. I didn't know until, until we got to Banga, because I was, we were living in a so-so in, 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 in Nandy Town, yeah. until we got moved to Banga, and he locked me in a room. I got it, I wanted to write to my son. I hadn't, you know, he says, he took care of everything. He said, I'll write the letters to all the people. You stay out of my computer room because you, you mess everything up. And he was, you know, he's like verbally abused. He was abusive, you know. I, I, he had accidentally break my arm, or he had accidentally give me a black eye, or he had accidentally do stuff like this. I you would know? have left him long ago. Oh, well, I'm stupid. I am so stupid. I am very stupid. I definitely am. And I'm slow. I, 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 I'm, I'm slow about things. And, you know, I, 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 I didn't want to have, to have to add up and subtract things, and I didn't want to have to take care of stuff. I was lazy. I'm basically a lazy slug, but I'm trying not to be. Okay, so I don't know where I was, but anyway, you've been raped. I, 
Oh, no, but the point is, it's an, it's a sense is, of yeah, issue with what I brought up about people who aren't raped to people who really are. Now, that, to me, is a real rape. And I'm just saying that I think that most people in the American jail system and prison system today are wrongly convicted of rape. And I really mean that. They I'm are. sorry well, if this guy in a way women. was, I mean, he was sick. This guy, well, he, was, sick, he but... was like running around, you know, you know, saying he wanted to marry me and have a... He was 23 years old, and he had a wife, and he had a three-year-old baby. Who, your partner or the no, rapist? No, the rapist. And how old were you? And how long ago was this? This was like five, six years ago. Oh, now. not long ago. Not long ago. Wow, so he was in his 20s, and you were in your 60s. And, and you yeah, was like, uh, yeah, 60s. In the... In, in the um, you know, in the newspaper, I mean, I, I, in the newspaper, because I didn't even know that they had found him. I didn't even know, but he had robbed a resort, the place he went on. Oh, I, I just felt bad about 15 years in jail. It's amazing that you and feel like, bad for this guy. Uh, I just, yeah. you know. Oh, he's in jail, like, he's in jail. But I mean, she feels bad yeah, well, for him. well, I'm okay now. Well, you know, when you talk about rape and, you, and you're against that. Now, I was, remember the Kojak series was based on the, the Wiley girl's murder in New York. I don't know if you remember that, Richard Robles. No. Yeah, What's the Wiley girl rape? Murders. There was two a girls. A guy that murdered Richard them. Robles mar uh, murdered them. You know, he was a drug addict and he murdered these two girls. But they also charged him with rape. Now, I was in Attica with him. I, I was actually in a... You were in prison. In prison. In Attica. Prison. Wow. I have not been to that prison. I want to go to that prison. Attica. Wow. I was in, actually, I was in the tombs with him originally. Have you arrested. talked about this on your show? You're being in yeah, prison. Everybody knows. I don't. Know Nobody about knows about that. Uh, I don't, you can I see he's in next jail, bud. You can see it. But I didn't <laughs> know. Which, I didn't want to ask you. But well, I was he was. Really? Do you think he looks like a jail? He couldn't. Jail. He, couldn't he couldn't sit at our table, uh, Richard Robles, because he had rape on him, and I helped him get a job. Okay. In the the library, but he had told me. He says I never raped any of them girls. He was a drug addict looking for. For you know some money, some money to like and he was, buy some And the girl toys. went crazy on him and started you know hitting him, and the yeah. next thing you know, he lost, and he killed him. But he said oh. he never raped them. But the media and oh. everybody, they, yeah. they, media will make up a lot of stuff just. Oh. I know I've been arrested. Oh, I know it. They and I've seen what they've said. They do. You know, which was. Yeah. I never believe what I read in the really newspaper. What's happening. But anyway, they did the yeah. Kojak a series. A lot of it isn't. Was based on his the the, the pilot was based on that case. And I, till his day, well, I, I think he's dead now. I heard he died. But uh, he, he, no, he told me, he says, John, I didn't rape them. And I, I believed them. Rapists are looked upon as the very bottom in a prison system. Yes. I know. And if you, I know. And I, I just figured a guy that's like twisted and sick like that should get psychiatric help. Not be, you know, I mean, um, not be, uh, you know, tortured in prison. Well, he know. tortured you. He tortured you. Are you out of here? Yeah, I know, I know, I know. I don't Rape know. Rape is I a just, very coward like, thing to I do. Can't, I can't deal with hatred. I well, it's not hatred. Like forgive and just like I mean, the rape a woman, the rape like a woman, uh, it, it, it's so disgusting because, I mean, you have well, no chance time. against me. Yeah, you're right. He hurt me. He did hurt me. You know what I'm saying? He needs I mean, to be punished. Yeah, well, he's You he's deserve in there. to be punished. He's, he's in there. there no I, don't, I don't have any hate in me, but I can understand you, a person who's been really raped uh, wanting punishment mm. for that person. I mean, you, I can see that. And it's I, slow like them, and, I, it's them and child for molesters. me over in Fiji because I, was, uh, I went through therapy in Fiji right after that happened, and this lady in Suva, because, you know, they, the men beat up their women in Fiji. I mean, it's not a big deal. They do it all over it. the world. Yeah, yeah. They, they may deserve they, it. Yeah. I'm tired of women saying they're beaten up and they bloody deserved it. I know, but it's, men are so much well, stronger Well, a lot of women men. don't. Let's I change mean, up the subject a little bit. A little bit. Come on, yeah, second. let's get off rape. I, I saw, there's something on my, one of my favorite news, local news, is Fox 11, the local oh, news. Oh, I like that too. And um, anyway, one of them was, a, a question was, is it right to hit a woman? Well, you know, Sean Connery did. If it's deserved, Humphrey Bogart yes. did. Yeah. Yes, but you know what? They but want you know, all these women so hard. Uh, listen, listen, this country oh, is hit you too hard. They can hit you and kill you. No, I'm not talking. If you get, if you want to hit a woman, just walk out the door. Walk out the fucking door. No, you do I, not hit a woman. I don't quite agree with you. I, have you ever been hit? Yeah. I Have you ever it. really been yeah. smacked really I, I, hard? And I deserved it, but my ex-fiance, he hit me around the freaking face like that. I need him in the balls. Did you? Him. Did you yes, break I a did. tooth? No, no, I haven't broken a tooth, but I went in for the kid. I had a big stomach because I said I like a man with at least a stomach. And we were co-authors together, and he hit slapped me, and I deserved it because I was in his face. I was in his face 
arguing with him and I was being rude. I wasn't screaming and shouting because I don't scream and shout like that. But I was in his face putting him down, putting him down, putting him down. And he backhanded me. I did knee him in the balls and I ripped. Yes, I did. He it, didn't hit you hard enough to knock you on the ground. Now see, then it, then it becomes, that's when it becomes too much. That's when it becomes abuse. Oh, so you say I just hit you a little bit. Well, he, he, I mean, I deserved it. I was right there. Well, some men don't know how to hit a little bit. They get so mad and they try, try, uh, try, well, then not, and then they whack. When you get that angry, walk out the door. I, I have a son. And he, you know, girls have put, been putting him through hell. And, he, you know, at one point he came over and his girlfriend was going out with a dentist. And he said, how, what am I going to do? I said, she wants to get married. You marry her. If you, you know, you don't want her to go out with a dentist, ask her to marry you. He said, oh, I don't think I, I don't want that. <laughs> you know? But he got really mad. He broke his surfboard. And he put his fist through the thing. Yeah. And I said, you are such a fool. When you get upset or something, don't be, don't be wrecking my house. Walk away. Go punch a bag. Go back to karate class. I don't I'm think sorry, you don't, you don't, you don't, you don't do that to people. You don't break people's windows. Oh. <laughs> you don't, you don't do that. You don't hit a woman. You don't hit no. a woman. Oh, I didn't mean to you don't, you. No, and it's like you have never been really hit. Okay. I'm I mean, even I'll tell you something. Steve Hill in that film, he he hit me, and he's an actor, oh, and okay. he shouldn't have hit me that hard because he knocked me out. Oh, I'm so sorry. I'm talking with you. Yeah, no, I'm no, so no, 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 no. It's okay. It's all right. It's I'm so okay. Sorry. I'm sorry. I'm only talking my no, personal experience. No, no. I know, and you're a little baby. You're a um, little baby. You do not want to get hit. I don't want to get hit again. It didn't really feel no, good. You, but no. I tell you, his balls got worse, you know, when I need him. But I am so, I really am sorry. Well, I'm should. glad you got I put up, balls. I brought up two sensitive issues with this darling lady, and I feel that I've upset No, no, no. I, I, no, I'm, I'm, you know, don't even worry about that. I, 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 I'm, it's, it's gone. I'm, I'm over it. I'm like that. I can get, I, I don't quite scream and shout, but I get so passionate about something or I get so high on something, something natural and then I am back to normal. And, and I think that people think that means you're crazy and it's not. It's just we are free with our emotions and that's it. Well, you know, back one thing about the emotions normal. like that is like Martin Landau said, that's a gift for an actor. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it is. But when you're dealing with yeah. cops or when I you're dealing with people. I love Marty Land. I just love him. Who? Marty Landau. He's an actor. Oh, he's Martin an actor. Landau. I've he's, heard of him. He's, a, he's, a, he's, yeah. he's at Actor Studio. Oh, Martin and Landau. You interviewed he, him, he, I think. I, I bet he, he, I'm his protege at Actor Studio. Oh, really? Yes, I knew there was a connection there. Oh. Martin Landau. If it wasn't for Marty, I wouldn't have got into the studio. Oh. When I, when I auditioned mm -hmm. the, the, for my final. It was Marty Landau, Mark Rydell, and uh, he, he did... Uh, uh, which is the one he did? Um, oh God, Tootsie. He directed. Oh, uh, Dustin Hoffman. Dustin no, Hoffman. Yeah, but the, the director. director uh, Who's the director? Then? Oh God, he I passed can't away. Remember. We all know his name, so. Oh, we're so bad that I mean I I, I hate it when my anyway, I got they were the, my I got it I got it on the tip of my tongue Me and too. I can't think. Not Marty Scorsese. No, 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 I'm sorry, no, I'm no. so ignorant. I like him. It's all right, we go I on. I like him, Marty Scorsese. I, I It'll love come to me. So what else do you do, V? V, what else? Oh, I, do, I, I dance every weekend for kids at Bar Mitzvahs. I do hip hop and follow along with the YMCA and the Footloose and the Cha Cha Slide and the Electric Slide and, and I do all the dancing and the thriller, you know, and the uh -huh. kids follow me and I get them on the dance floor on a Saturday evening or a Saturday day. Um, and then I do um, I do commercials. I actually do a lot of commercials, infomercials. I do spokesmodeling. I represent companies. Next week I'm in San Francisco um, as a, a representative of Bank of America for the National Association of Realtors. So I represent Bank of America, and then I go to Las Vegas for a day. I'm a newscaster on another show. I'm doing the Killer Speak, so I've got to fly to New York for one day, and then this is this is the next four weeks, and then I'm and then I've got to come back and then go back to San Francisco, and I'm working Dreamforce convention, which I'm a spokesmodel for another company. It was What's a, Dreamforce? Convention? It's a technology convention. I don't know much about technology. Oh, but when you've I'm, got to learn as much. No, as you but can. listen, I'm up there and I'm speaking in front of a lot of people, either with an earpiece or I'm on a microphone yeah. or I'm bringing people into the booth. It's one of the things that I do, and because I'm English, I sound more intelligent than I am. And that's the truth. Oh, is that, I can that say is what I true. know. It's that true. That is true. I can stand there and I can English talk about... English people can really get away with a lot. <laughs> yeah. So it sounds like I'm intelligent and really, I've got to say, I'm not as intelligent as people think I am. So well, you're pretty smart. But if I, I think you're very intelligent. I think you're I'm a shark streetwise. Cookie. You're a shark cookie. So you. Thank you. But listen, so, so when I'm up there and I'm talking to people of what I, the bullet points I have to remember, they're like, really? And so, 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 and so they'll ask me a question. Well, at that point, that's, I don't know any more than that. 
So I'm like, well, let me tell you something. I don't quite know the answer, but I do have Sarah over here. Now, Sarah's been a lot long, longer with the company than I have, so let me introduce you. Sarah, this is Simon, please. Uh, he's got a question for you, and then boom, I'll talk to someone else. Or I'm on a stage, and then you know, you know, asking. you you can, can do you have you a can, website you, or anything? We're gonna end now. Control. Tell you, I write she's... books. I'm home every pretty much. Home How do people day. get in touch with you? I'm very easily got hold of. I, I want to say something else about my website. My website is. VictoriaRedStyle.com. www. Now, how do you, spell you don't need that? the www. Just Victoria, spell it out. You have it on your book. You don't have. Yeah. You spell don't your have last name for the folks. VictoriaRedStyle.com. Slowly you and talk so fast. Redstall is R E D S T A L L. But two things I've just changed on my website is I'm now going to start to sell my book that I'm signing. So, you know, I pay for the full price of the book, don't get any special deals, and then I've just thought, well, I'm going to add a signature to that if people wanted to buy my book from my website. But I've just added another tab. I'm really good. That adds a, another 20 bucks well, right away to the book. Well, I added just a but I, No, but it's it, the fact that it's autographed, that's a true, true.